Warning, this video is very explicit. We're welders, not choir girls. So if you're a child, have sensitive ears, or just a bit of a pussy, turn it off now. You've been warned. In this video, me and my friend Matt find some very, very disturbing things. I don't even know what half of those things are when I was putting my eyes on them. Now that I've put some thought into it, I kind of surmise some ideas. But I won't ruin the surprise. I'll let you guys draw your own conclusions. If you like what you see here today, if you like my videos, show us some love. Like, subscribe, share, do the whole nine. Okay, guys? All right, let's get to this. Man, the welds are fucking terrible on this thing. I was expecting me to What the fuck? That's fucking weirder than anything else. Yeah. Room like this, you find 1980s Hooters titties. Yeah, not fucking puppies. Power bush. What's in that stuff? That's probably the snuff, the snuff porn room. Oh, okay. That's, that's, that's not all starts. Okay, so 26 stainless steel tanks. Everything in the building to be demoed and leave an empty shell. I would imagine that includes catwalks, piping. Can't believe how bad the stainless rusting. Let's see the rest of what we got. I don't know. Imagine the sprinkler system staying. It's rotten. This would be the biggest demo job I've done. Right. Okay. That all comes down to that. Okay. There's a lot to consider here. There's the main. All these welded straight to the ceiling. That's something to consider. Oh, fuck. Guys, on it already. Um, there's no place to take these things, and you're gonna have to be demoed in place. Top down, I would imagine. How the hell do they get a dent in that thing? Maybe pressure. They're drilling the whole test hole right now to see the thickness. I'd imagine these are eighth inch. I really think they're eighth inch. You can see down in that tank because it's been cut open. Okay, so there's there's already a, a test hole in this tank. Somebody's already cut a hole. So we'll go check to see what the, the wall thickness is there. Okay. I, I really believe these are eighth inch though for what they were being used for. Three sixteenths. There's a test hole in this front one right here. I, I, look, I look down inside of it and I can see light shining in. It should be right here. Oh, they climbed way up there to do it. Never mind. Well, I mean, there's a ladder there. They left the ladder. It's just below me right here. Yeah, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. It's it, it's between eighth inch and three sixteenths for sure. I'd imagine. I'm telling you, I was punching that I went over there, but I can feel my knuckle going in there. Yeah, it's not thick. It ain't quarter. Oh, it's right here, bro. That's what I oh there's another one, a lower one? No, the cheap one they cut out. Ah sweet. Eighth? No, it's thicker. Thicker? Yeah. You think it might be quarter? Eighth inch, yeah, I figured. Well, I think the way to do it would be to, to to get a test section going, cut, you know, cut with each, see which one's most efficient because seconds, you know, in this are going to save, you know, uh, hours in, in the long run. Well, that's what I'm getting at. Well, there's, you know, let's face it, with the grinder, you have to consume tools. Yeah. With the cut wheel. 
cut wheels with a single bolt. You're wasting something either way. Oh yeah, no doubt. I'm gonna do it my way. You're gonna do it your way. And we're gonna keep on going until I end my stubbornness and then I'll get another cut. <laughs> Let me be honest with you, with the chop saw, yeah. the catch 22 has gotta be creative cutting because especially being this thin and under stress, you go catch that blade and you don't cut this thing apart right. Yeah. All right, so. You can see the dilemma we're having here. How how far are we going with this demo? Are we leaving? I mean, right down to the are we leaving the the nitrogen and, and the nitrogen and, and sprinkler lines on? And you know, these are all things you got to consider with something of this scope. Are we able to just nip these, or do we need to go around and nip them in here? You know, what needs to be removed? The biggest challenge of this job is that the owner of the property wants the building to stay in place. So we just can't tear the building down with it. We have to try to take these things apart and not damage anything. As you can see, there's a very big opportunity here. Very big. So you need to saddle up the old horsey and ride. So originally these tanks were used for citrus. They are now holding oil, but part of the gig is that the oil will be removed before we start cutting these things. Another concern I have is, is there any flammable materials present? I've been told no. Um, and supposedly there is a couple of asbestos line tanks in the back, which is kind of out of my realm. Um, I could figure out how to safely remove that, I'm sure, but it's just getting there and figuring it out. I don't see nothing else up here that I really need to consider besides what I already have. Some sort of, I don't know what that doohickey is there, but that's the only tank I see that has it. Lots of stainless in here. Lots and lots of stainless. Let's make our way down to the bottom and see what we got going on down there. Okay. We got these. These lines here, I'm assuming these need to be removed as well. Where they go out to. And then over here, we have some tremendous air conditioning units, I think. Matt, that's what this is, right? These giant AC units up here. Chillers. Yeah, chillers, okay. That, I believe, is the asbestos line tank. See a little better there. Okay. Looks like we can make our way over there. This place is absolutely tremendous. So that's the mechanical room, like the cage. Basically every chemical plant has it. Okay, so um, we need to find out if this piping is part of the gig. The sanita uh, sanitization and removal of oil that are currently in the tanks is not on us. That's supposed to be pre-done, but um, I still want to go around and ensure that there is nothing flammable left in this plant. There's also a lot of oddball stuff going on, like this this wet sump pump sitting here. Why why is that there? You know, a lot of questions. Raw oil supply line. You know, you don't want to get cut into this, and then all of a sudden this all starts going up in flames. Because uh, it could be a really bad day, you know, if you make it out, that is. Because if this goes up in flames and you're up above, you, you probably ain't making it out. So, we need to think of safety first with this. Now, here's another concern I have. I'm not seeing a way, unless we can demo one of these walls out, and they don't appear to be any sort of load bearing. Fish shields. Do need a fish shield? What do you think? Free fish shields? It's got a very musty smell in here. I don't know what it is. Anthony. Yep. Where are you? Do I have a tape? Yeah. You got a marker on your pen, do you? Yeah. So. Is it a mark? Yep. Perfect, actually. So from the top of that stud. Looks like a quarter. 
Sensors. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Right here. Oh, yeah, it does look a little thinner than this. Yeah, it looks thinner. Yeah, there's a lot of interesting things going on around here. I was looking. I mean, I've never been in a, in a citrus factory before, so I have no idea. Well, okay, it's like they just abandoned shit. They've, oh, dude, they've got a, a, a slew of machinery. I love these fucking turbine pumps and centrifugal pumps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the fucking turbine pumps and centrifugal pumps. I don't know what I do with them. With all that. Ammonia recirculator. All that shit. And that's all free. I know they're saying it is, but it's definitely all free and clear because I've been told things are and then they ain't, you know? No, that's that's what I was trying to tell you. It's their, it's their job to decontaminate these yeah, fucking well, things. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter what their job is if the whole fucking thing catches on fire and kills me. Well, that's what I mean. <laughs> you know, that's why you have to. Check. I have to. Well, like, I have to kind of guide you on the fucking retardedness, but look at all this free stuff. Oh, stainless pipe. I know. This is about oh, fucking a grand, two grand. Oh, all sorts of shit. Nice stuff. Stainless. He's saying it's 304. I'm like, man, that's held up fairly well for its environment. Well, yeah, and that, I mean, what's with the welds on this, on these things? I thought there were some sort of standards when it came to these, here. these oh, vessels. Yeah. Here, check this out. Look at the color on this. Yeah, but see, and I don't even know if this was fucking made and never put into use. Look at the inside, they'll tell you. What is the, look at, look at this miter right here. See this miter? Yeah. I mean, I don't see no pepper blowing up. They look, I think they asked, oh, you can see it. It's been, come on, yeah, come on in here. Now you can see some fucking blowout. But they didn't, I don't think they used a back block or a back block strap. No. You know what I mean? No, they aluminum. just, they just welded that. But they fusion welded this. I mean, that's a sloppy rhythm. That's ta that's TIG, it's just sloppy. Yeah, that's what I mean, you can see the little pinholes and shit. Look at these flanges and, and stuff here. Don't, caps. What do we got here? Is this the asbestos tank or is that down further? Is that that one I looked at over there? I have no clue. Cause you can see there's some sort of, uh, Insulation that's been wrapped on this. It almost looks fiberglassed. This job's gonna require bodies. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you. At least ten. At least a ten-man crew. Okay. How are these anchored into the concrete, though? We don't know. That's what I'm saying. I think they're poured in place. That's what I'm saying. What are you gonna do? We're sit here and try to jackhammer this out. I mean, if we got a mini X. I, I, I don't know. We have to see the bottom of these things. I can figure you're right. There could be a belly. They could be. They could be lagged into the ground somehow. They could be rebarred into the ground somehow. Yeah. I don't know. I guarantee you this base has rebar in it. I guarantee you it has oh, big giant rebar circles. Itself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and then how much yeah, rebar? Yeah, structurally, yeah, that's not just fucking like no. uh, with flowable fill or any bullshit like that. Or no. Rock. Yeah, no, that's that's a legit footer right here. I'm with you on that. Yeah. But what I was saying is, just a quick idea. You start cutting it apart, rolling it in. And these are constructed, these, these are constructed different, not for nothing. Look. Yeah, this is ribbing. Yeah, this is ribbing. So yeah. this is probably a different thickness. Not with doubt. I mean, I'm almost. Oh, this is like thinner. Oh my god, it's it like paper. It says it's empty. Oh shit, it's empty. Oh, you gotta get boots on. I always wear the boots. That's that's paper thin. Socks, man. <laughs> what is it? No. Lord knows. It's probably that oil. Look. Corner of the pot. This is right there. It's corner of the pot. Take a bite. <laughs> Free PPE. There was a face shield over there that I put on. <laughs> That's why you had a grease shit strip hole. No, uh, you're really? Able, yeah. Do I? <laughs> I was like, let me put this on for a second, see what's going on. That's something I wouldn't even touch. It's pretty gross. All right, so we're on the outside of the building. I want to see the outside from in. Obviously, we don't have enough room here to drop the tanks, roll them, and demo them. I've just been informed that we're not allowed to do that. We're not allowed to drop the tanks out and demo them. So everything has to be cut in place. We've also been informed that the tanks are currently holding the byproduct of biodiesel. Um, and also whatever's been manufactured throughout the years when they were doing their shutdown, they decided to just, I guess, play the uh, shell game, move one stuff from one tank as they were doing shutdown. So um, this stuff's been sitting quite a while. Everything on the floor is not gypsum. It is um, it, it, glycerin, 
um, stuff like that. So as you can see, they've already demoed the top of this building out. So what we'll have to do is take a section of this wall out and move everything from the inside out. I would like to do it at this corner. I'd like to demo this corner here, start with this tank and start chopping it up, loading it. But now how do we, can we build maybe, we're gonna need to figure out how to do that. A crane? A crane, I mean, but the expense of a crane, we're talking, if you can work a deal with someone, maybe $7,000 a day for the crane we would need for this. So, it's a, this is a big one. This is a real big one here. But I've also been informed that they're not really wanting to pay to have this done. What they're wanting to do is let us take the money from the scrap. And there's a lot of hands in this. There is, I've met about four different contractors that have walked through this and they're all smaller like me and they're all gonna need to get the other piece of the pie. There's a lot to weigh out in this one. Um, definitely nerve wracking, but worst thing that can happen is I don't get the job and I just move on to the next one. But I'm gonna go to that corner and I wanna see around. I wanna see what's going on on that side of the building. It looks like at some point, this all must have been refrigerated. This whole building must have been chilled because that right there is a freezer door, unless they just threw that up because that's the door they had. So you can see there was a little hole cut there in the wall. There's some interesting stuff going on here. I've been told they want to salvage the building. Can we demo a wall? It's another question I have. Let's see. But I, all this is going to have to come out of the way. All this. You don't want to just look past this stuff because that is time. It's something you got to take into consideration. I don't know what the fuck is going on here. Somebody's fucking salvage yard. And what I've been told is right there above that catwalk, all up in there, is all government building. So that means there are offices that are active up there. So that, again, presents another problem and they're, they're government employees. So... Definitely don't want to go pissing on that tree if I can avoid it. So, a lot to consider here for sure. But this would be a, a big job to cut my teeth on for something like this. But, fortune favors the bold. All right, guys, I'm back in here to double dip because I just want to make sure I'm dotting my T's across my eyes. I've been told by one of the guys who is a maintenance person here that these tanks have been shut down for about five years. Another piece of helpful information he gave me, the stuff on the floor that I was questioning apparently is old glycerin and old oil, biodiesel oil that has seeped out of the tanks over the years. As you can see, we had some seepage right here. There's tons of that seepage all over the place. Uh, so this is, this is a great undertaking. This is very big. Um, the plan of attack for me at least is what I'm thinking is we start by demoing this tank here, which is the forwardmost one. We could make it collapse on itself. We get it out. We get two or three of these out. We bring excavators in and we just take the excavators. We use them to load the, uh, what's it called? To load the dumpsters out that we're gonna have. Um, we're going to need hundreds of dumpsters. Um, I've calculated the weight of these things out. We have 400,000 pound plus of stainless in this building. And that's just the tanks. It's not the pipe. Apparently there's a guy out there who will buy the pipe. If we cut it up into 12 foot sections or bigger or probably one of the most difficult jobs I've been asked to do. Um, I thought that stairway job was an undertaking. This is a real undertaking. Um, not intimidated. I am a little bit, but not, I, I know it's doable. People are doing it. Not the first person to take one of these plants out. So I'll tell you what, something I'm really surprised about is the quality of welds in here. I mean, just piss poor. Um, and you can see there's a lot of rusting in those areas. So begs the question of what were they really keeping in here? I was told it was processed water and orange juice, but glycerin, I think is part of the, is part of the orange juice making process. I'm talking right now back and forth with some of the scrap companies trying to figure out my, my, my odds and ends, everything I need to know about this. But yeah. That's, yeah, that's just like meat products. Look, look, look at that ketchup. That's like, 
barbecue sauce. Looks good to me. I'm coming back for it. Let's go see if we get better things though. Like you and me, if we could just just have like some of this area, it would be the most awesome shop ever. Oh yeah, you ain't kidding. This is a hell of a warehouse. Space. Oh fuck yeah, he does. It's a hell of an electric motor there. Boxes, there's a bin of shit over here. This is probably what, this is probably what you thought was Tooley. <laughs> tool. Oh, got me whole, 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 right here, boy. Look at this here. Oh, that's good. That's the top of the ghost, too. It's a ghost pump. Oh, look at this here, T Rod. Oh, yeah, that's good right yeah, there. We could use that. that. Special, uh. What were they using carbon steel on, though? Your mom. <laughs> <laughs> If not my mom, it'd be your mom. These are tubes. Tubes? Did I take rod? I thought it was tube. Tss. See, this guy is taking care of all this bullshit. Yeah. Seems like a mobile unit right there. Huh. What does that mean? Motor action. M O. Motor something valve. It's basically a motor control valve. Hmm. Air fluid goes in, and air thing. It aerates it. It goes the other way. It's a valve. This looks like some Dr. Seuss shit right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of shit that I better have hooked to. Is that not? You get that? Someone left the air on. You feel that? Yeah, that's weird. Oh, is that that guy's fan? It smells like chicken shit. What is now here is another thing. Look at this. Are we now we're not doing these. It's only those in that room. Are these included too? Because this is a different animal. It's crazy how they just kind of like abandoned ship here. It's like they just one day picked up and and abandoned it. I mean, there's all sorts of tools, tooling and and whatnot left around here. All right, now we can see. Oh wow, look at these. Brand fucking new. It's crazy, all these headgear. Look at this, there's like a thousand fucking hard hats in here. Well, not literally, but you know what I mean. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you, don't step in that. You know what that is? No. I piss there. Oh. Yeah, that, that's, that's is it me. urine? Yep. Oh, good. It's mine. It's not urine, it's you, mine. You've claimed? No, for legit, that's my urine. Yeah, I don't know what. It's in these cabinets and shit, but it's like, it's just a conglomerate of shit. Look at that swell. It's like, oh shit, the lump buffet. Fuck that, yeah. 460, man, that was a deal. It's fucking hot shit. It's a Panos on it. <laughs> that's some hot shit, dude. <laughs> Fuck that, look at this this TV monitor. What's yeah, leaning that's a, on? That's a Dell, bro. I don't know if those are new. What is this? I don't know. What is it? It's a drowning baby. Or it's a suffocating baby. Well, what's inside, man? Oh, it's the part. Joyce. Oh, it goes to a freaking computer monitor. Yes. It's we, that's a weird thing to have a box of. It's a badass fan, I think. I was looking at that. Yeah, that's badass. Yeah, I sure don't work. Oh, I'm sure neither. All right, so. I want to see this. Is this the tooling he speaks of? That it was what, what it's supposed this? to be. Big fucking arm or, uh, yeah, I seen that. I was wondering. So, I, I, but here, I mean, here's the uh, the wild factor is they got all these these um, these are all stainless uh, ammonia tank. Actually, are they stainless? They're like screwed together. It looks like galvanized. Oh, you know, it's it's just got uh, a, a lining on it. Yeah, insulated. What is this? Oh, okay, never mind. It's just like a pressure tank. You got some inspection tags. It would be excellent to find a schematic of this place. Yeah, it's not gonna Oh, if we did though, that would be fucking gold. Oh, the pump head? Yeah. 
compressor. What do we got here? Oh, that's a big fucking compressor you head. Fucking fish. I could be an old sailor bill. What do we got here? What do we got here? Any badges? Any fucking stamps? What's up? Get the rotation. Oh. Why, was it, why is the air release on the head? That's pretty wacky. What's that? Made in USA? That doesn't help me. Get these fucking belts. Oh, no, that's a hose. Oh, okay, it's an air hose. What is this? I thought it was a belt. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. Oh, dog's 31. Bitch. What is that? Micron motion? Micro motion? It's like a, it has a manifold on it. Uh, needs to be an air dryer, maybe. Maybe. Get a filter. Whoa, there's all sorts of weird shit just sitting around here. It's all sorts of shit that has to do with like this place, but then there's just shit that's like, what do you, what is that here for? Yeah, I mean, these are butterfly valves. Think the power works? What's that? Think the power works? What's that? Yep. Shit. Power's on. So we're just gonna buck in here for a couple months before they demo it and start this on new shop. I went all I went up and all around these things. I mean, these things are just fucking tremendous. Okay. Yeah, they're fucking huge. Fucking huge. That's a compressor. Keesler compressor. It's a rotary screw. Oh, this is a big drill bit. I guess you broke oh, it. Oh yeah. Did you break it? No, it's brand new. Did you chip it? Oh no, it's chipped. You sure. Oh, the or they sharpened it or something. No, it ain't chipped. Nobody. Yeah, he chipped right it. There. He burnt it because he. Yeah. Oh, is that the one he was screwing through? I, I, I told Steve. I said, "Tell him to go slow." He's like, "Go slow, dude." Yeah. I don't think he drills too much stainless. Yeah. Oh, there's the tank I need. Yeah, I saw that earlier. It's a hell of a compressor they got in here. Well, see, you see what they did there, though. Mm. So let's just say, in theory, you were talking. Oh, is that power on? Yeah, it sure is. It's fucking energized. Nice. So, you you were saying that you were a compressor. Oh shit! Here you go. This is the tool room. There's right, a bunch well, of pipe stands. Okay, so and... We need that power. We need that fucking big fuse box. How's, how's your? Uh, can we move your bubble rubber? What the fuck? There's still lights on in here and shit. We didn't come back in here either. This is all got to get gone. I'm assuming so. There's a blower. That's a big ass. Oh, pipe bender. Here you go. That's a pretty cool pipe bender, actually. There you go. Go to the truck. Conduit bender. Well, I mean, technically it's a conduit bender, but... If you can find the dies for this bitch. Some nice stands there. Oh, yeah. Take him home. We're going to back the truck up over here, start unloading the shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, this is a ripoff, by the way. Oh, somebody's already been in I here. I was expecting me to What lights. the fuck? That's fucking weirder than anything else. Yeah. In a room like this, you find 1980s Hooters titties. Yeah, not fucking puppies. And power bush. What's in that stuff? That's probably the snuff, the snuff porn room. Oh, uh, okay. That's, that's, that's how it all starts. It's weird. You bring them in here and show them the puppies. <laughs> oh, look at this. What? Show them the puppies? Yeah, you bring them in the kitchen room, you feel good, Sunday school. Oh, that's a conduit vendor. There you go. And then, uh, you yeah. know. Once, once you guys slip in that uh, Crosby juice, you bring them in this room. And, oh, yeah, this is definitely where fucking men get wet. Look at this shit. I wonder if that was the asbestos he was talking about. This? Yeah, probably. Looks like asbestos. Lovely. Take a deep breath. Oh, I already got some in my pocket. Sniff some of this shit on the way out. Okay. Look at this. It's a nice little locker. Oh, this is a fucking box. Yeah, it's a main disc. Yeah. Well, what is this over here, Matt? I don't know what I want these. I think you should take it. This unit is still being used. May reuse? Out of service. I don't know, bro. I think it's found your new mag, bro. Would it now. Oh, what, what, bitch. What, what, is that really? Bitch. Open that up. Is there something in it or is it empty? It feels empty. It's empty. <laughs> you haven't even looked in it! Like, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm saying it sounds empty. I know, I know. 
No, I think it's emptier than fuck. Oh, yeah, it's empty, but fuck, what was it? I don't know. So, hold on. I'm going to take a guess. Certified welding inspector? I bet this is something to test welds. If you know what that case was for, leave it in the comments down below. Like a non-destructive. Oh my God. I don't know, there's some sort of weird throw switch. Dude, this place just keeps going. What do you think it is? That's true. But why would they write it in Sharpie on the inside? Look at these disconnects, man. Oh, those are transformers. You ever see the dudes come out the fiberglass pole when your ship blows? Mm -hmm. That's what's up top. They're big fucking Damn. fuses. High you voltage. Live. Oh. Yeah, Woo! That's, that's pretty exciting. That's pretty exciting shit. Look High this, voltage. Look at this motherfucker. Yeah, what are those disconnects? Yeah, that is like. Looks dangerous. Oh, damn. Fuck Jesus. Jesus. Fuck. Yeah, yeah that's it. Handling a lot of juice. Not light. Oh no. This is how you turn the light on? Right there. This is not. It's light. not? This one is then. This one doesn't say not light. What is this one here? I'm gonna open this door slowly. 12, three phase. Oh, that's, that just leads outside. Touch that, huh? Yeah, that's, that's a transform. This is what's called a wonk unit. This is what's called I'm gonna walk away slowly. What, what'll happen is if you have single phase, you feed it into here, and then you get three transforms, and then you get three lights. Huh. Let's go. I know that, just, that sounded like. What are these? What are these here? Tr are these shutoffs too? Yeah, off, off, lockouts. They're the lockouts. Yeah, this is, this is like an old school fucking fuse box for like. A 480 single. volts. These all do individual machine style fan. Yeah, this is like just a nineteen fifties fucking. So this plant's been here for a fucking long time. Yeah, look at those fucks. Yeah. yeah, that's some serious shit, bro. Damn. So we found something cool, or I should say, we found a case to something cool. It's trying to get a snowman on it. Just really bumping down a single phase and throw up a little. Switches and shit. And then you got all these? Yeah, so like this is all insulation. I'm, I'm honestly I'm gonna say this is all carbon steel. Bunch of pumps and shit over there, a bunch of electric motors and what the fuck is that? What? That whole batch of shit. That? Well, my light is on to your left. Yeah. Oh, it's just like uh insulation yeah, insulation. It looks like somebody started tearing it off the walls. I think we've at least shaved four years off of our lives by being in here. That's right. I'm already on borrowed time. For, so. for the for the amount of time we've been in here. Mm -hmm. Somebody drilling. Or grinding. Okay, so the guy. I break it into our trucks, even though I left my window open. They're still breaking. I'm not going to fuck this guy's door anyway. Hmm. I could just go through the window. No. I got to damage this shit. They, they took the time to scrape some of this shit up and throw it in buckets. That's what makes me curious of what it actually is. You know? Uh, yeah. I'm, I don't know. Crude glycerin. I think they just held glycerin in here. I don't think there was ever orange juice in these things. Well, that's Man, the well, fucking terrible on this thing.
What is that there? That's another one of them. Pressure pot. What is this control over here? What do you think that does? Communication series. Communicator it's, series. It's obviously an alarm. Something to a motor. Now it's uh, I mean there could it could be it could have multiple functions. Like they could have. Oh look, it's got probe wires going up and into the tanks. Yeah, it could have a uh, what, what they call a level transducer. Okay, and that just tells it's you that. On the flow, yeah, it tells you the water. Okay. The program that thing to tell you. What it just like puts electrical current through the water. Yeah, millivolts. Oh, there's a broom. That is a nice broom. That is a nice awesome. broom. That's a fucking quality broom. That's a piece that's a home depot circuit 2005 that was when that was when husky took pride in there they took pride in their uh brooms. in their brooms just the endless amount of shit in here is just it's like it's crazy imagine me the engineer who designed Yeah, uh, I would say. So. Okay. Listen to that. Okay. Sounds soon, doesn't it? That sounds close, does it not? Yeah, it sounds like it's behind us. Tell me that. It, it's just with all, I mean, with all this pipe that's got to get moved, you got all these columns in the middle, you know? That's what I was telling you, though. Like, whatever was ran through, I don't forget. Like, stainless is still. Like, acid. Um, I like the fucking extension cord. Look, barely stretching to make it to the, to the fucking light. They weren't worried about. Listen, they weren't worried about sparks around here. No, it's, it's a hell of a fucking cord for that light. It's crazy how much there's in here, but how little it really is. You know what I mean? Like, it's a lot of shit, but I mean, you're, you know, for the yield. Yo! Tank's open. Grody. So that's what's in the tank. Oh man, there's baffles in this motherfucker. Not baffles, but, oh, never mind. That was an optical illusion. No, it's just straight up just the tank. Yo! Boom. That's all glitter or anything? Or is that biodiesel? I don't know what the fuck that is. Is that that's the float there? I'll come it's above the fucking shit then. I don't know, because that's empty. Because <laughs> there's a drain hole right there to the left, see it? It's a trough. No, 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 the hole in the wall. See the hole in the wall? What's that pin? Huh? See that straight line? Yeah. What is that? I don't know, climb in there. It's right there. I like how you just got your cigarette in the fucking tank. <laughs> Boom! What, 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 oh. what's, that, what's that right there? I was hoping there was going to be a no smoking sign nearby so I could just casually pan from you. That's his oh. personal, personal authorized. So I just pan from you smoking next to the tank. Well, the whole thing is bad stuff. Okay, so it's fatty acid storage tank, refined glycerin storage, empty storage tank. That doesn't look empty. That's no, it's not is. empty. Trough goes right to that plumber. So there, I wouldn't doubt there's some internal baffles and shit in here too. Yeah, but it's not anywhere up. Can you shine light up? Yeah, I'm sure I'm gonna put the cigarette in there. I'm fucking with you. I just thought it was funny that like. No, the <laughs> Well, you lazy, I don't smoke. <laughs> oh, cart, and there's a wrench on the cart. What? There's a cart, and there's a wrench. Oh, that looks, that's salvageable. There's a diaphragm pump right there. That's the diaphragm pump? Mm -hmm. Look at this chip, though. Oh, yeah. Is it brass? I don't know. What is that? It's it looks fancy. Like look what it says on the outside of it. That's like fucking somebody took the time to get that stamp made. That's close. It does. 
That's probably on the, across the road there. What? Oh, oh yeah. It's a Westco. Oh, it's still jacking. Did you see that fish works, man. Oh, damn. Let's get you some new wheels for it. I'm serious. This thing is running 500 bucks. At least. Those brick walls aren't doing shit. No, the brick walls are just exterior. They're not even tied into that. Absolutely not doing shit. I think this is our tank, too. It's but you do, I think like this just used to be a giant freezer. Oh, here's one of his tags. The old, the old man told me he put these on here five years ago. Oh, that's empty, all right. 13 foot of sludge. Yeah. About a fucking That's three grand? Jesus Christ. I mean, I get, I believe it. No, for sure. Is it plastic? The housings? Yeah, 90s. Huh. Except for the main, except for the main center housing. The housing's probably. That's a thick fucking plastic. That's like the Bakelite from fucking back, back in the day. You know why they make it plastic, right? Why? If you're pumping bad shit, so it doesn't rot. So it's not caustic. Yeah. Mm. Oil. Corrode. Yeah, it's Corrode. What is this? This is this is nice. Yes. Yeah, Give Steve on that one. What type of rips is that? Yes. No, I mean it could be a bad card. Oh, it probably is. It probably is. Looks like it's been sitting there for at least ten years. He said they only shut this place down five years ago. I kind of think it was a little longer. Yeah, I could be wrong. Kind of a rabbit, it? True. True. I know this is so much kitty litter on the floor. Yeah, that's what he was saying. He said most of it's kitty litter. I mean, really, put yourself in the position of, of getting a plasma cutter on this fucking thing and sitting there and... And then not only that, when you do go all the way through this motherfucker and it goes bing! That's what I mean sometimes. You... That's... Yo, look at the groovy lighting. I know. That goes to the snuff room. Someone's in here. He's trying to Whistle. This. Probably. That's what I would do. Well, I'm going to fucking take him to the snuff room. <laughs> take him to the puppy room first. <laughs> then the snuff room. Okay. So it's carbon steel. Okay, okay. Carbon steel, carbon steel. It's a good indicator that a lot of this shit is carbon steel. That's fire sprinkler. Which he was thinking might have to stay in. Yep. Building, they are you take it all apart though. Because if you look, you should have cam fittings, almost like cam fittings, little fire sprinkler. Mm-hmm. Yep, right there. Not for nothing, this is fairly recent. This tank. This is a fairly recent addition to this place. Yeah, those are so clean. See that guy didn't do a bad job. Yeah, but, but you see the heat effect it's in how that rusted? Yeah. Yeah. Now, mind you, if this is 304, see, now this is all I was trying to point out to you on that other one. Mm -hmm. Shiny and gold, or whatever, you know, decent color. And then on the outside of the welds, you got... If you look at this, that's been treated. Yeah, they actually, they actually went back and treated oh, shit, that weld. they grounded it down. It looks like they, looks like they washed it or something, and then they fucking... That's been treated. How's it going, man? Yeah, all right. You getting lost in this rat maze? Huh? You getting lost in this rat maze or? No. 
So he this was the gentleman I, I talked to. I worked here about five years. Ago. Okay, all right. Yep. Yeah. So, we're still trying to figure out we didn't want these things tore down. So much fun. Oh, so much. Oh, yes. Yeah, so much shit. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, the building's staying up, so we can't take any. They're going to have to make some pipes, man. I mean, there's. there's... Oh, all these pipes are going to have to get cut out. There's no. Well, like I said, that guy that we. I think you talked. He has future as a lecturer. He's, he's taking that shit out. But these concrete walls, outside, have they ever been moved? Well, I mean. Yeah, it's it's interesting. Interesting. this was once a freezer. This was a freezer. Yeah. There you go, Anthony. I told you, yeah, it was. It was a freezer. It stayed like maybe 10 degrees. I noticed that the wall, the insulation that's still in the walls, man, it's, it's like our 12, yeah. well, man. It was a freezer, yeah. It stays cool in here, still. I mean, what are we? It's probably now, 70 degrees, yeah. It's winter time. Yeah, yeah so that's true. Time <laughs> I bet. It gets hot. What, what, what's directly above us? Is that office space? Uh, I think this is the office space right up here. Up here? Yeah. I think right there on the back is offices up there. Okay. Well, that would be good sir, up there, though, until that's all free. Yeah, yeah. That's free stain. We just got to be careful not to... Break it. <laughs> <laughs> Break the things. Evacuate the office. I, I'll tell you what. There's a lot of pipe we didn't consider in, in that quick little tidbit we did there. It's a lot of pipe. Lot of pipe. I mean, there's, I'd say there's probably another 40,000 pounds of just pipe in here. Like, see this, Anthony? Come here. This is stainless. Yeah, oh yeah, I know. Okay. It's all stainless. Oh, look, look up. It goes, just keeps going. It's all stainless. Yeah. There's, there's five rows or six rows of stainless. So now, between you and me, as far as the scrap metal, I don't know if there's a difference between dirty steel. I know there's dirty steel, which, like that, but even though this is all stainless, you know, I don't know if they deduct points for, oh, there's got a lot of carbon, there's got a lot of rot on it. You know? Yeah. So. Yeah, that's a support. Yeah, that supports the building. Look at look at that. Look at how it's designed, though. Look at the design of that fucking pillar. What that fucking. Well, they had to. No, they could have tied those gussets in and kept it a two. It's strange. It's the sixties, man. Everybody was on LSD. It's the sixties, bro. This fancy pants. Woo! I got one of those at the house. That's a boomerang. What is this? That is old, man. Look oh, that's that real old. Damn, that should just... It's probably like a fucking thrift store of... Uh... <laughs> it's a Richard. What, what do you think this submersible pump was for? It's a bilge pump. Something leaked or... They're just pumping it out. You know, it's, they probably put a low spot. Well, it's like in a ship, you know. Always got a low spot. Yeah. So you got to leave the pump thing. It was a jackhammer, a pneumatic jackhammer. Oh, fuck it is. See, dude, what did I tell you yesterday? What? Look at that emblem. Look at that insignia. CP? Yeah, look at it. I don't know. Central pneumatic? No, I was talking Yeah. Cool. This is probably a badass fucking jackhammer. It's a quality That's piece. That's when they used to make Chicago pneumatic. It probably works. Oh, I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, it needs to be lubed. Mom's I wonder what that was, they were using this for. My mom used to work here. Yeah, it's probably a fucking badass jackhammer. But yeah, it's like I told you, they used to make badass tools. That's sad. Yeah. I mean, I bet if, uh, no, what's sad is they're gonna throw away the scrap of shit. Ooh, look at that. Juicy. Oh, goddamn. Oh, well, you're wearing boots. Keep it juicy. Well, here's another thing I got a question about. You see these cross members? Does that have anything to do with the building structurally? Or is that just to hold up that? Is that just to hold up the, the pipes? Because well, if those cross members those hold up the building. Those are your trusses, right? Yeah, and then below that. And those are all spanned on your fucking yeah. your pillars and shit. So let's follow these. Let's see if they're tied into something else. I think, you know what, now that I'm looking, I think it was just for the catwalk because you see they're not going anywhere else. Yeah, because I'm looking, see right in front of this gentleman right here? Yeah. This vertical floor? Yeah. There's nothing on that side either. All the main 
big home beams. Well, yeah. We're going that way. Yep. And the trusses are running this way. So, what would it do for these guys right here, right? Yeah, see, they're actually hung. Yeah, they're hung from it. Okay, there's, well, they're just pipe there's support. There's eight beams. Yeah. I'm sure they help the sway and shit. But yeah, I think what you just said, that their main function is to span for the catwalks. Bye -bye. <laughs> you got at least something to <clears throat> I was also noted when I was up there there's like miniature catwalks on all the corners yeah well like I said um, you know if, if, if just two second take if you had a chop X amount of, X amount of foot down pull it in and then knock it out and roll it out or something that would be okay, but I don't know because I mean you got to manipulate, you got to negotiate around these beams here, you know. I, and how far apart are these beams? I mean, look, cause you 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 ain't getting these out of here because look, that ain't gonna fit between that beam. Yeah. These these all got to be cut in place, I think. That ain't coming out around the beams. These these ain't either. No, this all has to be cut in place and folded in on itself and then pulled out. You know what? Here was my thought on it. We get three excavators in here. I get one outside. That, goes right, that guy right there, those platforms. Yeah, those miniature platforms. But I, I, my thought was I get three excavators, one outside, one in the middle, and one at the back, and they just feed each other like you're doing dirt. But you're doing it with the, yep, make a pile, this one grabs from that pile, this one grabs from that pile, loads the truck. That's, that was my thought, like do like a, a conveyor of excavators. But then here's the other thing. Now you got a guy with an excavator swinging around these fucking beams. So I, I don't know. How else are you gonna get it out there? You're gonna drag these pieces out one by one? Look at that. If you look down the side of it, it's bowed in right where this weld seam is. This is under tension. Yeah. Lube? No, he's got plenty. Laminate repair filler. Laminate? Yeah, that's what it says. That is though. Seal finish color laminate repair. The picker's gonna get it. Oh, God, I want that. Oh, you need a sweater? Yep. That's a nice one there. That's Mr. Rogers edition. Look at that shit. Yeah, that's, that's probably old. That's a nice odd. That is a nice fucking sweater. It's yeah. thick. Oh, it's basic editions. Okay, fuck that. Why? Pee on it. I'll tell you what, after a minute, you become accustomed to the must. Yeah. The must. No. The fuck it room? Yeah. People just started chucking shit over. Just fuck it. Motherfucker, that's what it is. Just... Yeah. Pneumatic, it's probably a mono. What is it? This? I'm gonna show you something. I want this Mr. Rogers. Okay, yep, Monarch. This is a pneumatic air pump. This is what I used to shoot grout thick paint with. It's basically you feed air into it. It's pneumatic motor. Just the piston. It's a pickup tube. It's got packings. This setup right here used. You could probably throw this on eBay right now and get about six to eight hundred bucks for it. Damn. The way it sits. Brand new. These are about three grand plus. Without the hoses, the regulators, nothing. You, Just you, the piston and the motor. If someone took their time and it was a single guy and he had the time. To take this place apart piece by piece, he could probably live off it for the rest of his life. I wonder why there's a bag of Viago white marble chips. Just because. <laughs> Look at the rest of this shit. This has been an educational experience. All oh, this cool shit. This spot is funny. It's not funny. It's just strange how it just got all abandoned like that. I mean, it shows you how much money they're really making for them to abandon this shit. What, well, thanks. So this is a sprinkler room. That's what this is. All these tanks are for just. All of these tanks are for water. These pumps supply this whole building. What are the fittings? Okay, you see those? You see those? Uh, how they look like uniflanges? Yeah. Like that's how. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen those. those fittings. That's how they all go together. Yeah. So you follow them out. You see the smaller ones. That's how they all go together. Because it's actually the end of the pipe has just like a nub. And believe it or not, that's a special thing. Ferguson has their own. Oh, it's like every company has their own type? Yeah, yeah, but like, you gotta buy fire sprinkler line from a fire sprinkler. Like, Ferguson has their own division that does it. 
That's crazy. That's a lot of water these tanks held. Look at this. Jesus Christ. Well, what do you think that water that water tower is telling you about? That's what feeds these. What how the fuck do you How many gallons is that water tower? Look at this well. Lots. Hey. Is it leaking? Uh, I think there so. Well, I don't know if there's water in it. I guess there is. Nah, there's no water in those. Escaped. That's the sex dungeon yeah, down the there. Dungeon. That's why they want you to keep the door closed. Oh, I don't know what the fuck is down here. The bottom half of the stairway is just rotted out and gone. It's concrete. No, not down here. It's not. No, you know what that was for? You took it and you... <laughs> Get back down there, bitch. Get back down there. <laughs> This was some fucking guy's office at some point. The checkout list, I think. Yeah. So you could check out how methanol. Oh, it's telling you what you need to use for what you're doing. Oh, see? B100 biodiesel. Rubber boots. Green nitrile gloves. <laughs> see, this is your hooker dissolve kit. That's your hooker dissolve kit? <laughs> No, drawings of the building. Yeah. yeah but they have there you go. Yeah, I think they do. Look. Phase one process flow diagram. Yeah. We did. I think we just walked through this. Oh, maybe not. I see us are reduced. Well, the legend should tell us what the fuck it is. I'll flip it right there. Dummy. Pipe of major equipment, single stage. Prow, 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 prow. Get your stick. Get your, get your, your glove stick. You got to push him back down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a light at one point. That's disturbing. The what? So that's disturbing. If this is a Matumi, Matumi or whatever. Your little... Drug the drug them up. Oh, we got some tooth beds in there. Sweet. Is that where you make meth out of? Make a little bathtub meth, you know. No, seriously, is that is yeah. that what they seek? Yeah. Is That's they... why you can only buy like one pack at a time because the the they, they make bathtub meth out of that so shit. So why ain't this on eBay, kid? You got a market. <laughs> So well, guys, if you stuck it out and seen this thing all the way through, I can't believe you watched an hour of my shit. But if you found it entertaining, like, subscribe, share, do the whole nine for your boy, all right? Just like I asked you at the beginning of the video, I'm going to ask you at the end. If you like my stuff, show me a little support, all right? This ain't easy what I'm doing. Sitting here staring at myself for hours on end. I mean, I'm a little vain, but come on. Anyway, have a great day. Keep dragging rod. Keep pushing me. Keep doing what you do, and I will catch you on the next one.